All right, guys, I have a chance to do this quick video on how to patch Android apps if you're using Cobalt's Google Play services or Google Play Store for your BlackBerry 10 device. Now, keep in mind that your results will vary. It will vary depending on what device you're using. In this case, I'm using a BlackBerry Q10 to show this often. Other, like if you have a BlackBerry Passport, I've noticed that I've had better success on the Passport, but I do not have one in hand to be able to show you this, unfortunately, so I, I can't compare those results at the moment. Now, before we proceed, what is patching? In, my, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to be able to get the Android Google Play Store on your BlackBerry 10 device. But as you may have noticed, even though that Play Store is so-called patched, where it means that the signature is stripped from the app and replaced with one that's already signed by, by a developer, that means the app is legitimized, so to speak, um, there shouldn't be any issues with functionality in, the, in terms of all these apps communicating with one another to the main services hub, which is the Play Services. So there are some apps that you still download that will say that you do not have Google Play Services installed. And one of these happens to be Snapchat. Now, does the patcher work with all Android apps? Meaning to strip that part of the app and rebuild the APK so it won't be asking for the Google Play services? Well, some developers block it from running on the BlackBerry Android runtime. And this link to this forum that I'm gonna leave on a video description below goes in depth to explain such things. Like for example, Snapchat is blocked by the developer. Some people like Aaron Clark, who's commented on previous videos that I've done, has been able to get Snapchat working on his, what appears to be a BlackBerry Z10 or Z10, um, but technically you should not be able to get it working on your BlackBerry 10 device. So let's just put that to rest right then and there. However, that doesn't mean I didn't try. The bottom of the thread has Cobalt's Play Services Patcher linked here. Also an older version, a little bit lower. Now he has a screen grab of what, it, of what the application looks like and I have it here on my computer. It happens to be something that runs on a computer, not on your phone. Because initially, sometime last year, I was still using the one that you can patch the apps through your phone instead of through, say, this desktop uh, environment. Well, I still tried, I used this, to patch a few apps that I'll show you here in a moment how they ended up installing. But before I can get to this, before you can use the Google Play Services Patcher, you do need Java Runtime Environment. The latest version, go ahead and get it, go to oracle.com based on what device you're using or platform, which is Windows, Linux, Mac OS, whatever. Uh, go ahead and download that from here. I'm using a Windows 10 PC. I have the latest version, so I don't need to worry about that anymore because otherwise this Google Play Services Patcher will not work. Now, the other question is, well, how do you get the APKs here if they're installing on your phone? Yeah, that's kind of what I asked. So I assume that you have to go to one of those third-party um, APK places to download the APKs. So I went to APK Mirror because that's the one that I trust. Uh, I, I never had any issues with them. So I downloaded the APKs for this tutorial from here. And the ones I downloaded were Facebook, Snapchat, and Google Maps. So in the case of Facebook and Snapchat, there were fresh installs. In the case of Google Maps, it was an update. Now, back to the patcher, just here. Follow the instructions on the thread on how to get this thing installed because Cobalt's the one that in, that invented this and he knows how best to make sure it runs properly. So follow his, uh, his, his tips and his troubleshooting in case you run into it. So through here, on the Google Play Service Patcher, look for your APKs, and in this case, I'm gonna just, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna open the, I'm gonna analyze the Google Maps. So it's gonna go through its paces and say that it doesn't need to uh, sign this because it doesn't need any patching. Some people still go ahead and patch the maps because it sometimes asks for Play Services that even though your phone has it, it says it's not there. Well, in my case, I never had issues with, with the maps, so I'm leaving it at that. Now, in the meanwhile, as that thing's running in the background, let me show you my results for Facebook. Because I already have, it. I went through the whole patching thing, I said it didn't need to be patched, and in most cases, it does not move beyond the splash screen. Five minutes, it just hangs there. So on an off chance, 
it might go to the login page and it just stops working there. It stops responding altogether. It says the Facebook has stopped responding. Do you want to wait or do you want to close the application? And in most cases, I just close the application because I just can't move from there. So that's Facebook. Now, Snapchat. Snapchat, I get to the login and it crashes. So let me try that again because I was able to get to say the sign up and it didn't ask for the play services anymore, which means it patched successfully through this application. But as you can see, it is crashing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and close all these other apps to maybe free up some memory because that could be it. Let's find out and go. Let's see if it'll let me sign up. It's not crashing. Okay. Okay. There it crashed again. All right. At least I got to the sign in page this time, right? So let's try again. Sign up. What's your name? And it crashed. Okay, so that's actually as far as I was able to get. I have not been able to get any further than that. It wouldn't I never been able to type my name because it just kept crashing. So with Facebook, I did make it to the login screen and then it just kept freezing. Those have been my experiences on the BlackBerry Q10. Now the next one up is maps. Is it working? Let's find out. And look at that. It looks like it's up literally. It's uploading somehow. Okay. And let's see. Uh, let's see some places here. Okay. Let's see. This is an address that we inspected at some point. Uh, it's labeled. Looks like it's pulling something up and let's see how I get there from the office. Let's see if it uh, gives me directions. Looks like it's working. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just updated this, so let's see. Let's see if it'll give me the directions. Head south, then turn right. So at least Google Maps was able to be running because it's the patch are finished and the back says it doesn't require patching. So again, your mileage will vary. It depends on your device. I've had a lot of hiccups with the one on my BlackBerry Q10. So that's as far as it gone. Unfortunately, I don't have a passport to be able to show you the rest. Hopefully your results will be better than the one I displayed here. So now you know the reason why I haven't actually showed how to patch before because there wouldn't it wouldn't have been much of any conclusion other than showing you how to get it going, but not to actually get it working. And I hope this little video answers some questions. Anyway, I'll be back sometime in November with more videos. Thanks for watching and subscribe to stay in the know. And this is Andres once again for the Newsreel, signing out.